Hello, welcome back to Heaton TV. Uh, making progress. Not that everything's not still flying out of here, but we're making progress on stock, which is a good thing. But this is what else to go. They've all got up to date now on all the other videos I've done as well. Yeah. Since last time they saw all you, which was a big unveiling of this one. That was a good video, wasn't it? Yeah. So, how are you, sir? All right. Yeah? Nice. How, no. how is your power blue? She's blue. She's blue? She's actually some Maserati blue. Maserati blue. Does that make her go faster? She's right. All I need now is a racing strike. Yeah. And we can, well, we'll go like 70 mile an hour, mate. <laughs> we will get stuff done. Yeah. We will. Right, so we were just having a chat in the cab just before I started recording stuff. Explain what you think about the gearbox. For me, personally, I think it's an absolute game changer, is my opinion. And I wish we had an auto command sooner. It is an absolute game changer. Yeah. The way it's smooth, the way it operates, the way it finds its own power. I really like it. Really different. And I do think that this, well, everyone goes on about, again, other brands, John Deere, all that kind of stuff with their Vario. I, personally, I think this is up there. Yeah. I really do, yeah. I'm really impressed with it. So what have you done on the screen to set everything up so far? So, One second, I'll bring you guys around and you'll see his pointing hand. Now, Bear in mind, this is all new to us. So we're still learning about this tractor. So you've got F1, F2, F3. Now I've set F3, that is my road speed. F2 is just whatever. So at the moment I'm using F1. So the tractor is literally going 10.4 K as we are rolling. So that is how fast the tractor will go. That is the maximum speed that the tractor will go in my work. Now what I do find amazing is, see now in a minute, we're gonna be hitting a hill. I don't have to do anything, the tractor will find its own power and just sort the speed out and how much power that tractor needs to the wheels to get up the hill. Now I think that's really clever. Yeah. You know, I don't, don't get me wrong, I know like Power Command do it and the Range Command do it, of the, but they don't do it in a way of this. But this is a real smooth transition. It's, it's something that hasn't really been rolled out on lots of tractors for, for like a very long time. This now, the track, that's, you know, this isn't the gearbox we've had, is it? No. Really want it in. We, we had a four-cylinder Lamborghini on demo years and years and years ago, which did a similar thing. You could literally set the speed, the PEO speed, and the track would just sit 
uphill, down dale, no matter what, you just sit at that speed. So it's nice to see it's actually been rolled out on under tractors. Yeah, I mean, wrong, I know they've got the PDO, um, you know, I'm going to stay at 530, 540, whatever, they've had that for a while. Um, but it's actually, but I'm talking, I'm not talking as a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I don't know either. I can't see it either. But I'm, I'm talking, where I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to get across it is, right? I'm talking as, because this is new to us. We've always had New Orleans, yeah. but range command or power command. We've never had this, no. have we? This is like a proper top spec tractor. We've never had this spec tractor before. We've always had the screen or the sidewinder, whatever, but never an auto command. And, and I mean, you know, for me, I do think it's an absolute, well, I wish we had one seen it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just totally different. It's a totally different piece of an animal. This is where Adam does his reverse circles around the fields because he likes he likes his stripes, don't he? Yeah, he likes his stripy fields. And he he even go to the extent now. Some of you understand this. If you go around a field one way, the other way, then the other way, in order to get your next stripe back, you've got to go back down one stripe the correct way a second time to get your tractor the right way around to get all your stripes in line. Is that about right? That's correct. Yeah, he's a bit alien about it. I like this. I know people go on about, oh, look how straight my line is. Sometimes I'll just roll a field diagonal. <laughs> Hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you say straight, a straight line in this day and age? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, that's it. A little bit of curvature. Well, that's going to be that's on YouTube now, isn't it? That's me, I'm done. When we say bent line, we well, can't say whoa, that either. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> can't say stuff like that. Oh, this day and age. What do we say? I don't even know if we can say it as a grey area. Oh my god. Can't say anything. Everything's too PC, isn't it? Oh, it's a moment. You ought to say, if they're woke, go broke. Yeah, we're, we're not woke. They're definitely woke. Seem to be a, a sheer amount of uh, dandelions in this field. I'm not quite sure why. This is most dandelions I've seen in the field uh, over the farm this year. Okay, actually, the one below is pretty bad as well. well they go quite everywhere. Where I've been today, they're quite. Um, present, shall we say. Oh, they? Yeah. God damn them, Danny Lawrence. Let go of them, Yeah. They don't like being rolled. No, they don't like being bruised. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like being rolled either, would you? No. Talking of rollers, there is a company that make a stick roller. One here is awesome. Now, not that our Dalbo is a um, bad pick here. Good pick here. But there is something that is now appeared on the wish list, which is because I whoa 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 before you get into this, I saw it first at Royal Cornwall yes, last right. year, and I told him all about it, and he went, "No, yeah, sounds alright." Then recently at a little ag show up at Exeter uh, Livestock Arena, you saw it, didn't you? It's not a big kit. <laughs> it is a farmer built kit. It is an amazing bit of kit, and you would have to do some serious damage to break it. If you heard what he said, farmer built bit of kit. It is a it is a beast. So there's a company called Terratech, right? That are they make pretty much bright orange kit. Yeah, it was silver, wasn't it? And they've changed it. Yeah, the, they've, they've changed it. When they first came out, wasn't it? Mm. So yeah, they've they are building or well, they've built this roller which is absolutely absolute beast. And yes, it's on the wish wish list and something might happen about it at some point especially if you've got to do a deal on something <coughs> um but you want the you want the bigger one don't you yeah because that's that's not like me being sho you know chauvinistic and vain it, like that. It, it so is no it's not you always no, want bigger well yeah wouldn't you be if you're bloody my height <laughs> um <laughs> i would like we had this conversation the other day didn't we yeah that if I was going to go, and get, if we were going to go and get another roller, I'd have to get the bigger one because at the end of the day, that Tarot Tech is going to do the same job as this. And it is. Well, yeah. if we were going to change it, I'd like to get the bigger one if we could. Oh, you, at some point, you really want to get the, the point of uh, progression has to always come in. Oh, of course, get involved. of course, guys. You're, you're less time in fields, you're covering more area. Mind well. you, you were, you were the one that really wanted that 14 star tether we had. And, um... That didn't go very well. <laughs> we don't talk about that. 
Do you want to tell? Do you, should we just, why not? Why, should, why don't we talk about that? I couldn't get it around. <laughs> it's too wide for the lanes. <laughs> they kept breaking stuff off the side of it. <laughs> it's too big. It's too wide. And the fields? It used to take literally. <laughs> crow. It's crow. No, it's made for big wide. It's made for in Germany. It's not made for down here. Yeah, that's, no. That's for sure. But it literally used to take. Now we. These were one of the first models that first came out, and it used to literally take five minutes to unfold it. It was an absolute nightmare. It took the more time to unfold than it did to do some of our fields. Yeah, it did. It did. So that's why we went back to the tent. Both just two ten stars then. Yeah. I mean, got, like, if we have to, we'll go to three ten stars because off off thirty foot, there's no point, is there? No. We, we just haven't got the field big enough. No, it's just you can't you can't get any corners properly either. If you, you go into a two hundred acre field, what a bit of kit that! Oh yeah, like you know, a unfold, flat. take five yeah. minutes, and then you you got a good half hour of heading. Yeah, but you just over here. I mean, look where we are now. You would never do it over here. No. It would just be a waste of time, wouldn't yeah. it? Yep. Yeah, so that, that was an adventurous bit of kit we had. Good bit which was going too big. But too it, big and and it just wouldn't unfold properly. If you got it, it was meant to be faultless. It was it was designed so you just unfold it with one spool and it did everything for you. You've missed your line. Huh? Well, you have, that was the way you've just come. This is embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! We'll edit that one out. Oh, so he's just done his thing where he come round down the talking, right talking. line, right line, in order to get all his stripes right. And now he's going to have to, in order to get his stripes right now, he's going to have to go to the other side of the field to come up the other side, rather than what he's just done. Good thing fuel's cheap. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, you got a double line. Oh, he's committed. He's committed. So he went up that way and he went, he should have come, Best where he went there, he should have come well, down here, we'll but he came down there. So I can't be bothered to sort that out. So we're oh, double, this is, we're this double is, lining. This isn't what I usually do. This is brilliant. I just double lining. This fear pissed you off then? Yep, that's it. I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home, mate. <laughs> oh. Don't see the point. Good job I came for a chat. Good thing that we're ending that one out. Yeah, yeah. Where was I going with this conversation? I was really interested in the conversation about the phone tell, teller that no one really cares about. Right, because they don't have anyone. No. Um, also, Crone called it a hydraulic mechanical system, didn't they? It was like, it's going to be like, um, what's the word? But it used to jam up. It used yeah. to jam up so bad. It used to go up, it used to, it's going to come up so high, then I'm starting folding, but sometimes you know, it would go right up to the top like that. Mm. And then it would all jam, then your back guard would hit the floor because that would fall down and then that would bend. Honestly, it was a pile of shite. Yeah, we had to take that off, didn't we? Yeah, it was, uh, we had to take a lot of stuff off of it because it just would not get around the ropes. But the, the system, the way the system worked was... Synchronised! That's the word I'm looking for, it was a synchronised system. So each cylinder would fill, which would do that segment, and then the idea is the next cylinder, to the next unfolding bit, wasn't or shouldn't operate before the first one is completely done its job, basically. Yeah, like, and you know, like yeah, and the Rams. So sometimes it got seemed to get confused, and the only way to then get it to do anything was to fold it all the way back to being unfolded, if it was already unfolded, or all the way back to being folded up, if it's folded up, to then start the whole system all over again. And then one day it did actually snap one of the back on the arms, didn't it? Yeah. It jammed up. Yeah. And that's what happened. No fault of anyone. And that, that was the day it left. It was, because we had enough at that point, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, I didn't, because I never drove it. I, oh, I, just did, I just did my mowers. And it's so hard to get into places. It's just a nightmare. But it, it, it seems to be a little bit of a, from us personally, a crone thing. Crone is great kit built for big, flat, open spaces. Right, so I'm not going to like dismantle them. Oh no! They they make great kit for big it's open not, flat areas. It's not for like over here. It's no, not, like the meadows we got and all the the groundwork, especially for us down here. I mean, our, our stuff's like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, it's it's a oh like down this these parts or oh, the dogs in king uh, in our sort of parts things like uh, McHale, Pottinger, Canervan have just started doing more things that are more flexible is things that work to more undulating coon yeah 3d systems like things that work to more undulating ground not dead flat ground really it's like you know let's just i'm not sitting here to slide it too long pro lot but let's just go to your lower today yeah they like to play more than they like to cut yeah. They just they don't go over everything. They don't, yeah. They'd rather go through stuff than go over them. They that's do. not good for us. Yeah, occasionally they do a bit of rotating, but they don't go too deep. Oh, yeah, I mean, perhaps it's a multi purpose goal, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Again, you know, you've got nice big flat fields, nothing wrong with it. Do, your, you, know, do your, you know exactly what it says on the tin. But our thing, no is, today, our thing is, like, like the bottom of this little patch of ground we're on now, we've got water meadows and there's, there's ditches and dikes you've got to go over. and. Like work, total weird undulations and McHale mowers that we used to have, they would contour over everything. The pro mowers straight through it. <laughs> the, the rake wouldn't it? it just wouldn't cut again. You know, it just wouldn't go over the contour of the ground. No. So it used to leave the grass everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It'd never pick everything up, and that used to really annoy me because you could go over and over and over it again, but it just miss it. Yeah, you don't take much to get you north. No, don't. It's miserable. It's a lovely day though, isn't it? Depends really. Depends how you look at it. Well, you're in a you're in a Maserati blue. Not Maserati, that was it. Oh, I nearly saw. <laughs> you nearly got me. You're in a Maserati blue power, New Holland, all set up that you don't even have to move your feet, and you're still not happy. Oh, I'm jolly. Oh, I'm editing that out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You can't go say crap like that. You know you're. In you just stir them all up on YouTube. Yeah, let's wrap them up. Right, great. Now in the comments you're going to go, yeah, finally one of them likes John Deere. I'll just, I'll just say no. I don't like John Deere at all. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, see, we had you. Didn't we? We had them. We had them. <laughs> we, we had them. Oh god. Now we're going to get more caught. Now, now all of them just gave you like a, a, a positive comment. If they've just taken it away. But they wish they don't see me again, do they? Oh, bless. Right, anyway, I'm going to go get on with what I've got to do and let you leave you alone. Good. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You miss me, really? No, you miss me. No, you miss me. I've just been carrying on with life. <laughs> Have you? No. Well, I had, to come, I had to come out and do some videoing. Now, I am going to go load a heap of scrap that we got in the yard. If you haven't yet done so, please hit the subscribe, give us a thumbs up. You'll also find us on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. First job, I've got to move the bloody bin back. So we had to move the bin because we blocked, unfortunately, the roller in. There's an area there that's got one hell of a lot tidier. So now we need another skip to basically get rid of the rest. Some fibre cement, plastic oil tubs, um, all we've got to go in a completely different one. So another skip come, clear that, and then this area will be sorted for a second. So now I'm out of the wind. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't yet done so, please give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, be amazing. You can find us on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, oh, and Instagram. And until next time, cheers.